Hello, I'm Mr. Muskelock, your EP chemistry teacher at Chem Advantage. Well, the question here is to find the formula of mercury one chloride. This is a very, very tricky question, but it's worth doing because mercury one has been used on the AP chemistry exam, so we should know about it. Well, this is an ionic compound. We have a metal and a non-metal attached to it, and you'd think that you'd follow just the simple rules that we've got mercury here with a plus one charge and chloride with a negative one and be done with it as being mercury one chloride HgCl. But this one's a bit tricky because mercury one is a polyatomic ion. Well, you say, wait a second, polyatomic? If you go to the ion list that I had you memorize, where you should know the charges of these various ions for AP chemistry. Here's mercury one, and look at it. It's not one mercury with a charge of plus one, but it's two mercuries with a charge of plus two. This is interesting because originally, when I took AP, when I took chemistry, it wasn't AP then. In fact, they didn't have AP at the time. If you memorize the polyatomic ions, and here's the list that I had memorized on the first day of high school that I went to, we had the older names, the archaic names. Instead of saying copper 2, we called it cupric. And here we have mercuric. And this is an mercurus, which has a charge of plus 1. Well, this is out of date. This was incorrect. It's been found out that mercury is a diatomic ion. Two atoms of mercury will come together and have a plus charge on one side and a plus charge on the other side. So really there's no such thing as a single mercury ion with a charge of plus one. They pair up all the time. Strange, but hey, it's strange anyway. Look, we've got the formula Hg for mercury. So this is one of the ones where it's a bit mysterious. So now, because you know mercury 1 and have memorized that it is a polyatomic cation, you would write it down as Hg with a subscript 2, indicating that it's diatomic. And it has a charge of plus 2. It's the only diatomic cation. And here we've got our chloride ion, which is a nice simple one. Well, with this, now we can go ahead to find its formula using our little trick of swapping charges to get a neutral correlation. So here, Hg2 plus with a 2 plus charge. And I'm writing this as a negative one because I want to use this one. And we swap those numbers as we're doing right here. So we're taking this 2 and bringing it underneath the chlorine and the 1 underneath here. It's a trick. This way we have one positive 2 charge and we have two negative one charges. So we have a neutral combination of these ions. As a result, we write it like this. They say, reduce this, reduce this. No, you don't. In this case, you don't reduce it because this Hg plus two is a species by itself. I mean, it isn't one Hg. This is a polyatomic ion, and we don't reduce this polyatomic ion. Had this been a calcium and a oxide, you would reduce it. But no, this is mercury 1. We want to identify it as such. In fact, actually, if you look at its crystal, here it is. Here's mercury 1 chloride, and there's nothing 1 about it. It's, it's 2 everywhere. This white substance, and it's got a notorious history of being used as a medicine. Oh, and, and, and also as a poison. But here's what it looks like. We've got... Two mercuries stuck together, which is really strange in a covalent bond. This makes a charge of plus one and plus one. Hg with a plus two charge, called mercury one, and then a chloride stuck at one end and a chloride stuck at another. And as an ionic crystal, here we've got another unit and another unit. This is a pretty tricky one, and certainly it's AP level, and it's one of these little details that, if you know, how it works and can remember this, it'll help you on the exam. So this is one of the things that'll make you a sharp student.